The Consumer Electronics Show 2019, or more commonly known as CES 2019, uh, introduced us to a lot of new TVs, technologies, robots, and so on. Seeing new products is easy, it happens all the time. But seeing new technologies or innovation, that doesn't happen all the time. But here at CES, there were multiple mind-blowing tech at play. And in this video, we are going to take a look at five of them that impressed me the most. Before we begin, let me introduce myself. My name is Sundar. This is Technology Jock. Subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon if you'd like to see more of these content. Five technologies in no particular order. Let's begin with Hypersense, developed by Razer. This is a big leap forward in the gaming world. Hypersense equips gaming peripherals like mouse and headphones with vibration motors for haptic feedback. Haptic feedback is that vibration you feel when you type something on your phone's keyboard or when you press the back or home button on your phone. But then those are all just average. You just feel a simple buzz. But Hypersense makes sure there are many different vibration patterns to make your gaming experience as real and immersive as possible. This is already available on a pair of Razer gaming headphones. They cost $200 and Razer is also planning to bring this to other uh, things like mouse, uh, the palm rest of a keyboard and even to gaming chair. Uh, so basically what happens is when you play a game, say someone is shooting you from behind, then your chair vibrates. Uh, say someone is walking towards you from the right, then the mouse vibrates because your mouse is to the right. Uh, the intensity of vibration depends on what kind of action is taking place. If there is a huge explosion, then the intensity is going to be high. If someone is just walking towards you, then there's just going to be minimal vibration. Number two, once again, this is for all the gamers out there. Dell has announced a modular laptop called the Alienware Area 51M. Yep, you can now change the processor and the graphics card of the laptop as you wish. Till date, on the laptops that we own, we can only upgrade RAM or storage, maybe install an SSD, but that's it. But here on the Area 51M, say after a couple of years, you want more power, you can upgrade to a better processor and GPU if they are supported. Of course, there are some limitations. It's not as easy as you think. I actually made a whole video about the laptop where I explained everything in detail, including its specifications, how it works, how to upgrade uh, and so on. So for more info, watch that video. Okay, enough of gaming, there's one more technology that really caught my eye. It's micro LED. And it beats the current best OLED technology in every way possible. One groundbreaking thing about this technology is micro LED modules can emit light on their own. So there's no need of a backlight. So basically on a TV or monitor, there's always backlight, be it LED or OLED monitor or TV, there's always a backlight because those uh, organic LEDs can't emit light on their own. But here, micro LEDs can emit light on their own. So that means there's no need of backlight and that means micro LED TVs will be extremely thin. But the best thing about the technology is it is completely modular. Samsung had a lot of individual micro LED panels and they put them all together to make a TV out of them. Look at how it works. Incredible, right? Due credit to The Verge for capturing it. At CES, Samsung showcased a 75-inch model and then they added more panels and made it a 146-inch TV and added even more panels and made it a 219-inch TV. Crazy. So any aspect ratio, any resolution, uh, any size is possible with this kind of technology. Next up, we've got the direct rival of Samsung with their own version of mind-boggling TV technology. Yep, it's LG's rollable OLED TV, which can just magically disappear at the touch of a button. It hides inside an enclosure at the bottom, which also houses a powerful sound bar. There are different stops for the TV. For example, only 25% of the TV will come out if you just want to view the weather report, time and so on. If you want to view photos, uh, like as in a screensaver, then 50% of the display becomes visible. I feel this will be particularly useful when you watch videos of different aspect ratios. If you are watching a movie, then it's 21 is to 9. So instead of seeing black bars at the top and bottom, a part of the TV can now go inside and the aspect ratio of the TV itself becomes 21 is to 9. 
LG actually showed the same concept back in CES 2018, but looks like it's now getting closer to reality, closer to reaching consumers. There's no price yet. So for the final one, we have a smart oven from Whirlpool. I bet you're thinking some existing expensive ovens have a ton of good features. What else could be smart about the smart oven? What is unique about it? Well, for starters, the door of the oven has a 27 inch transparent display. You could pull up recipes on that and the display shows the list of ingredients to gather. The oven also has augmented reality baked into it. No pun intended. It shows you where exactly to place the food tray for maximum cooking efficiency or minimum cooking time. The display also shows you what the dish would look like after cooking. There's also a camera inside the oven that lets you have a look at the dish while it's being microwaved. So if you have a pizza in there, for example, you can stop the microwaves on once the crust becomes golden brown. Uh, no more burnt pizzas. It's certainly mesmerizing for me. Two things uh, that I love the most are coming together, technology and food. <laughs> Which one of these impressed you the most? Which ones do you think you're likely to go ahead and buy in the future? Let me know in the comment section. This is going to be an interesting discussion. So these five technologies might take their own time to reach the consumers and probably even more time to become affordable enough for us to buy them. But it's exciting to know that these things are going to be with us at home someday. Hit the like button if you're excited too and subscribe to Technology Jock and hit the bell icon for more videos like this. Thanks for watching. This is Sundar and I'll see you in my next video. Bye bye.